Why, hello guys, it's Mr. Ray. So I'm not here today, and you guys are going to do the assignment. It's in your Google Classroom, and you can check it out. I let the instructions on step-by-step -step how to draw it, and I'm gonna draw it with you. Uh, it is a llama. It is not a pinata llama. If you wanna turn it into that, you can. I know where that comes from. But we're gonna draw a llama today. So, you got a black piece of paper, and at your table you should have some crayons. Like the, well not these, but they'll be in your bucket. And then you got some oil pastels. It might look like this, or it might look like this. First grade and kindergarten have been using them today. We're gonna use the white oil pastel though, so use that. If you don't want to use the white oil pastel, you can use a white crayon. You can use a yellow crayon. You can use any light colored crayon that shows up on paper. First thing we're going to do is at the bottom, we'll write our name. Mr. Ray. Don't write Mr. Ray's name, write your name. All right. So to draw the llama, we need to try to take up the whole piece of paper. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the eyeball. I'm gonna draw it about right here. So I'm gonna draw a U. Boop. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go give it some eyelashes. Because his eyes are closed. Alright, next step. Above the eye, we're gonna draw a diagonal line. Just like this. Now, I know Miss Queen loves llamas, so if you've had Miss Queen or you have Miss Queen right now, she might really like this as a gift when you're done later on in the year. All right, so there's that. And then we're going to circle this back around. Now, I'm looking at the drawing guide that I attached to Google Classroom. So you can look at that if you get lost. It's okay. All right, so we got two ears. Then we gotta go up with the ear, up with the ear, like that. And it has some hair. This is gonna be tricky. It looks like it comes off of this ear right here. And it goes like the letter W. Letter W, and a bigger letter W, like that at the end. All right, whew, that was rough. All right, so the next step is we're gonna draw its neck. So we're coming off the back of the head. And we're gonna go down, do, 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 do. It's gotta be a long neck, just like that. And then we go off like the letter L, and then it swoops underneath here. Then I'm gonna go, oh, I forgot to add the nose. So here we gotta add the nose. It's a U, or like the letter C, side to side. It's a dot, like that. And then the mouth, give it a little smile. It's a happy llama. All right, so now from about where the, from where the nose is, I'm going to come down, out a little bit. Doesn't have to be a perfect line, one kind of wavy. I guess llamas are kind of fuzzy. Just like that. All right. Now, this little part right here is the chest. So then we'll have the legs come down kind of goes in and comes straight down and then come out like that, sorry, like that, come down, goes over, then goes in just a little bit to show the hoof, and then go up and it should get wider as it goes up. Now for the back leg, goes straight down 
not all the way down, just like about right there. And then, because the hind legs kind of go in, we want to go in just a little bit, draw a hoof. We want it to be the same distance, so this and this should kind of meet up. When I draw, I usually lift my pencil or pen or whatever I'm using up, and I just kind of go back and forth, make sure it's level. Draw like that. Have the hoof come in just a little bit. And then go straight up. And then out. And then give it a nice little U belly. Ooh, that's rough. Okay. We're doing this though. Now my llama doesn't look exactly like the picture that you might be looking at. That's okay. This is my llama. All right, so now we're going to draw the saddle. So this one's pretty easy. Go, come in a little bit off the hind. Do a big U up to where the neck starts, just like that. Then do another U inside of there. tassels. I just do a circle, a triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. You add as many tassels as you want. I added about five. You can add more, you can add less. And we gotta use the halter tassels. So to do that, I'm gonna start here where the blanket is, where the saddle is. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line, come off of there. Then go up just a little bit, draw more of a U coming off there. And then from the mouth, draw a U going down there. And then add some tassels. So just draw some circles. All right, and then the last step is you want to color it in. So you can color it in however you like. I would use any colors you want. Again, if uh, you happen to realize there's a similarity between this llama and maybe something called Fortnite, you could look at pictures of that pinata and do it those colors. I think they're purple and pink. You can go more realistic with brown. It's whatever you wanna do, but you need to color it in nicely. Treat it now like a coloring sheet. Use this for the hair. And color your llama in. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.